Well guys, it's here. Yay, can you believe it? The 5D. Oop. No, it is the, the EOS R. The Canon mirrorless camera is finally here. Well, actually, my version of it is here because all the real ones are out in Maui. So I was so inspired by what I've seen in the past uh, couple days by like Scott Kelby and Lindsay Adler and Drew McCullum that I was like, I need to read up more about this. And, um, and Rudy Wilson, Scott was saying how, um, how knowledgeable he is about this new system and he really is. So I want to give you my take on what I've seen over the past couple days and, uh, and what I think about it. So for one, um, I think it's pretty fantastic and I'll put my Sharpie away. Um, this camera, we've learned that it's mirrorless, has 30.3 megapixels, fantastic. ISO, everybody always asks that about new cameras. What's the ISO? Well, this one here has fantastic ISO, ISO as you can see. The um, top one is for still images, the bottom one is for video that is other than 4K. But I do know if you are shooting 4K, uh, the ISO goes from 100 to uh, 12,800. So that's still pretty good. In low light for video, I think you'll be able to use something with that, I'm sure. So the other thing is, it is super fast. It is 0 0.05 seconds that it will take the picture. That is so fast. How about that? See, did you get that there? Speeding bullet, faster than a speeding bullet. So um, one of the neat things it has on the back, not only is it a touch screen, um, like the, the LCD screen is a touch screen, but it has this new multi-function bar that it looks just like this, only it's a little smaller on the back of the camera, but it's totally customizable where if there are settings you use all the time and you want to just like swipe through them really quick, then uh, you can customize that bar. So how cool is that? And the other thing it has is eye detection. How cool is that when we're moving around, it's tracking you, it's got all the eyes on you, or it has its eyes on you. Yes, yeah, so that one is cool. Of course, they've been talking about the new mounts on the camera. Yes, there's new mounts. There's the mount that will take your existing EF or EFS lens that will allow you to use it on your uh, use those lenses on the new EOS uh, Canon EOS R but also there's another adapter ring that for the EF and the EFS there's certain functionality that can happen on the lens which I'll talk about in the next slide here um, but uh, but you can have all that functionality you don't lose any f-stops like you normally do if you have an adapter ring um, on the uh, on the EF or the EFS system so or lenses so that's really good to know and then the other part is there's a special ring that allows you to drop in filters like a polarizing filter neutral density filter so it doesn't matter what size lens that you put on that camera it has this adapter that you just drop those filters into, which is really cool. You don't need a whole bunch of different size ones for the different sizes of your lenses. So that's cool. And uh, so back to that lens, the new lenses, they roll out a whole new line of lenses for this camera. And on the lens itself, there's actually a ring. And that ring is customizable. You can set it to adjust your aperture, um, all kinds of stuff, lots of stuff. If you want to see everything that it does and can be adjusted to, go to the Canon website, Canon USA, and the spec page, and you can see all about it. You can see videos on it and everything. And uh, here's something that's fascinating. Focal points. Look at how many focal points it has. Yes, it has a ton of them. 5,655 to be exact. And the other feature, which is nice, is it has the variable screen. Check that out. It, you can see the little faux camera here. Screen folds out. It's touch screen as well. So anyway, variable screen. Gotta love that. The other imports that it has, or inputs I should say, um, HDMI, headphones, microphone for us bloggers and video people, it has that as, um, as well as a 4K, but there's a special thing that it has. It, um, it, it'll take 
regular um, the file size and condense it down to a, some type of compression actually so it'll be ready for a, um, mp4 the usual question is battery is it the same battery do we have to buy a new battery for this eos r no it takes the same battery as uh, my lovely 5d mark IV that is hiding behind the canon eos r so that's super, and if you want that part number, it's LP-E6N, just for those who like that. So another burning question is, how weather tight is it? Well, we need to be careful. Don't be dumping buckets of water on it and keep it out of the rain. Um, there is, it is resistant, water resistant, moisture resistant. So, but uh, be careful with it, all right? And then the last thing, which is very fabulous here, is the silent shutter. It is like, there's just no noise at all. Not at all. I was listening to Scott Kelby talk about it, and he was like, we got nothing. So if you're in a church setting, shooting a wedding, if you're trying to capture that bird, you don't want any noises. So I just thought it was, it was pretty cool. So those are my slide versions. I was inspired by Shalene Johnson. The other night, uh, she was talking about doing things that you love to do, which I like to draw. And um, so I thought, you know what? I'm gonna take my love of photography and how I like to draw and put those two things together to tell you about the fabulous new Canon EUSR. I hope you found this informative and uh, Pam Stukenborg with Stukenborg Photo signing off for now. Have a great day. Bye.